All right, Thomas, we're talking about a new local rule that went into effect earlier this year. This is the rule we're going to hear a lot about over the coming days as the U.S. Open, of course, is on the horizon. Now, earlier this year, the USGA eliminated the penalty for a ball accidentally moving on the green. Explain the local rule that went into effect. Correct. Yeah, this is a local rule, and essentially what it does is it eliminates the penalty for any accidental movement of a ball or a ball marker on the putting green. So if you're on the putting green, you're, you know, you're around your golf ball, you accidentally move it, there's no longer a penalty applied to that, and you just simply put it back. What was the thinking from the USGA deciding to, to revamp the rule? I know rules, they don't yeah. get changed very easily or very quickly. A lot went into this decision, right? Yeah, I mean, even before last year's U.S. Open, historically, there have just been, there's been a high frequency of these situations happening, especially on the putting green. So as part of our rules modernization initiative, we had talked about eliminating this penalty some time ago. And post-U.S. Open, we just stepped back and said, it's not the right thing for the game to have these situations come up. If we can do this and do this by local rule now, let's go ahead and put that into effect. We said we're going to hear a lot about this rule, of course, because a year ago at the 116th U.S. Open in Oakmont, this rule came into play when Dustin Johnson, of course, was penalized for his ball accidentally moving on the fifth green during the final round. Now, Johnson was later issued a one-stroke penalty for the violation. Explain what happened on the fifth green that day and the rule that the USGA applied there. Yeah, so before 2016, there was a rule that said once you addressed your ball, if it moved, you were automatically penalized. That rule went away. And for 2016, there was a single standard. It said if your ball moves, we're going to look at all the facts. And if it's more likely than not you caused the ball to move, you're penalized one stroke and you need to put it back. In Dustin's situation, he grounded his club a couple of times in close proximity to his ball. And the second time he grounded his club, that ball then immediately moved. So as a committee, we reviewed the footage uh, and we determined that more likely than not, he was the cause of the ball's movement. We, we weren't saying it was absolute. We never said he touched his ball. But what we said was the timing that he grounded his club between that and the ball moving was, was too much of a coincidence. So more likely than not, he was the cause. One stroke penalty uh, was, was assessed. And we talked about the local rule. The USGA instituted the new local rule for all of its championships for 2017. Uh, so let's look ahead here. Same rule situation happens this year at Aaron Hills. How would the new rule be applied? So under the local rule, there'd be no penalty. Again, if the committee determined that the player was the cause of the movement, uh, the player would simply put the ball back, but there's no longer a penalty for those situations. If the ball was moved accidentally by a natural force, wind gusts, the, the green, uh, we've seen the grass, especially when they're cut low late in the day, yep. the grass can shift a little bit. Yep. If that were to happen, how would that be different here? So th that's a great point. So in a situation where a natural cause or something like wind causes your ball to move, you're actually going to play it from its new location. So in a scenario where a player's ball moves on the putting green, we need to make that determination. Was it the player or was it something else? If it was the wind, play the ball from its new location. If it was the player, the player's going to put it back. And we look ahead. Obviously, the, the new rules of golf will go into effect in 2019, the revamped rules. Um, how will this rule be put into uh, effect in 2019. I know it's going to look a little bit yeah. different than the local rule currently in effect, right? Yeah, as I mentioned, we were comfortable with eliminating the penalty as part of the rules modernization initiative. So the, the proposed new rules that were released on March 1st, that change is part of it. Uh, so there'll no longer be a penalty. Now we're actually going to take it one step further. And, and one of the proposed new rules, anytime you mark and lift your ball on a putting green, once you've replaced it, if the ball moves, regardless of how or why it moved, you're always going to put it back. So that need for the conversation, was it the wind, was it the player? All that is eliminated. And from a simplicity standpoint, just grab your ball, put it back to where it was originally marked and play on. Pretty straightforward there for yeah. golfers. If that ball moves without them making a stroke, it goes back to the original location. On the putting green, yep, that's going to be the case. Okay, and, and for, for golfers who need to find out more, especially at their local yeah. clubs, to see whether the rule is in effect, what's the best step for a, a recreational golfer to find out all the information, be best prepared when they go out? So, so typically you'll see clubs list their local rules on the back of a scorecard, but if there's ever a question, they can always check with their PGA professional in the golf shop, ask if the local rule is in effect, along with other local rules that might be in effect at that course, and then they'll, they'll be prepared to play their round. All right, so the local rule is in effect for 2017. We'll go into the new rules of golf permanently in 2019. Thomas, thanks. Thanks, Ryan.